Welcome to the vibrant world of Linux Mint, where innovation and accessibility blend seamlessly. As we delve into this operating system, it's intriguing to note that Linux Mint has been rapidly climbing the ranks in the world of open source software. Did you know that as of 2023, Linux Mint holds a significant share in the Linux desktop market, standing out amongst hundreds of distributions. It's not just its user-friendly interface that's catching eyes. Statistics show a consistent increase in downloads with millions of users worldwide embracing its refreshing simplicity and robust performance. Linux Mint, a brainchild born from robust Ubuntu, is celebrated for its elegance and efficiency. It is particularly favored by those transitioning from other operating systems, owing to its similar layout and intuitive design. This OS isn't just about its look. Performance metrics reveal a lightweight yet powerful system, capable of reviving older hardware and providing a smooth experience on the latest machines. As we explore Linux Mint, we will uncover why it has become a top choice for both novice and tech professionals. From its customization capabilities to its community-driven development, Linux Mint isn't just an operating system. It's a movement. A movement towards a more accessible, reliable and user-centric computing future. So let's embark on this minty journey and unwrap the many layers of this innovative and peppermint-powered OS. And before commencing, just a quick info for you. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking concepts, network packet analysis, ethical hacking network security, and over a dozen others. And that's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top-tier product and security companies and academicians from top universities. This course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners. And this course requires just a bachelor's degree with a 50% of average and no prior programming experience is required. And one plus year of work experience is preferred. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a cybersecurity program that will fit your experience and area of interest. So now moving on to the demo part. And here first we will see the Linux Mint website. And do you know that Linux Mint has three versions? So first we will click on download. And here you can see the first version is Cinnamon Edition and then Mate Edition and XFCE Edition. So Cinnamon Edition is the popular version of Linux Mint and is primarily developed for and by Linux Mint only. Like it is sleek, beautiful and full of features. It has many features and we'll have a demo session for that only where we'll see the features of Cinnamon version. And then we have the Matte Edition that is for stable, robust and traditional purposes. And then we have XFCE version that is extremely stable and very light on resource usage. So I have installed the Cinnamon Edition and that too on the Oracle Virtual Box. So if you want to install it, you can either boot up and drive and install it as your main operating system as I was running Windows and for this demo, I have installed this so I have installed it on the Virtual Box. So here we'll start with the demo for the Cinnamon Edition. So the first thing we'll see is, first thing we'll go for is preferences and the display option so here in the display option you can set the resolution for your cinnamon edition linux mint like which resolution you want so i will set this and if you want the rotation for your display screen you can do that so this was one of the feature and moving on in preferences only we have one more that is we'll see what we have yeah we have accessibility also so in accessibility you could either do the large text or the smaller text you could do for the high contrast enable zoom you could move to keyboard and use visual indicator on caps and numlock so these are the things you could do and yeah uh, like there was text size increase or the enhancement option we can also do with the font selection for that we'll go 
preferences in preferences only uh, there would be one font selection one yeah here you could just select the default font also Key which font you want and the size of the default font so you could select that <coughs> for the desktop font document font monospace window title and the text scaling factor so we could enlarge it according to your requirements and now moving to other options in preferences only we'll see so we have mouse and touchpad so in mouse and touchpad you could just adjust the pointer size you could see the pointer size here pointer speed pointer size and accordingly we have other options if you have operated on any of the operating system you would easily have a catch on it so i will show you where all the like settings and all the things you could get on so in preferences only or we could just customize this panel we can just right click on it and go to panel settings and you could see the font size for the left zone so this is the left zone allow them to determine font size and scale to or we can just increase the icon size here or if we go to the right zone so the icon size will increase for these as you can see so this is how you could assess all these and if you want to change the desktop background you could easily do it you just have to right click it and click on change desktop background and you could have any pictures you want uh, as i have the default ones i will use this one so you could see that the desktop has been changed and now uh, yeah i want to tell you that these settings would be changed after you reboot the system so all the settings will be lost so now we will go to accessories and if you want any app on the like this navigation bar or on the desktop you could just right click on that app and add to panel so you could see here it has been added to panel and you could also unpin from panel also we have unpinned it and in accessories like calculator only if you want it on desktop you could add it on desktop so it's on desktop now so similarly you could add any app here and now if you want to configure menu just right click on the menu and there's a configure option and here you could configure it if you want to increase the size in the menu you could do that if you want to change any text or add any text you could do that and if you use want to use any menu animation you can do that so these are the features of linux mint and if you want to capture snapshot then you will go to administrator and then there's a option with time shift and it will require a password so for that we will enter the password so you could create any snapshot here and you could have recurrent ones also using the wizard option and now we'll see the driver manager and that's also in the administrator section so driver manager so it will show you what are the drivers installed on your system so it shows that no drivers need your computer does not need, need any additional drivers so this was all for this tutorial hope you guys found it informative and helpful as we have covered many preferences and many options for the linux mint so you could get a easy hand on so if you're like shifting from any os to linux mint so this tutorial would help you out that and if you guys found this tutorial informative and helpful then please subscribe share and like the video until then stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.